Yo, can I be honest with y'all real quick? Can I be real, real, real honest? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, guys. The reason I'm asking that question is because I'm going to share my journey as a Forex trader and crypto trader. And some mistakes that I made, a lot of mistakes that I made when I did it, <laughs> when I first started doing it. And uh, subscribe, like, sh and share this information because it's going to get real, real heavy a little bit. Just want to get you guys know. All right, so here's some truth that a lot of traders won't tell you. Y'all ready? We gonna do some things that a lot, I guess you could say it's taboo in talking about trading, okay? That's what we about to do today. Some real taboo stuff that a lot of you, sorry, my dog is in here, so I do apologize off the bat, but I do need him to lay down. So hold on a second, <whistles> lay down. He a husky, he a husky, y'all. He he just hard headed, Lord. If you out, don't you mess with my cords. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> no, um, some things that you know we don't talk about as traders a lot is our losses. I've made a lot of money. Uh, I guess you could say if you really put a ballpark of I made thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes a little bit more, even that, and then sometimes even less. There's been trades that I've made a dollar only. There's been trades I made a good couple grand. <laughs> Yo, but uh, I've lost times. To be honest with you, I've, been, I've lost a lot. Uh, I don't lost some of y'all annual paychecks. And I've gained doubled and tripled some of the uh, some of the some of the money you made in the year. This has not been the easiest easiest walk that I've I've made as an entrepreneur or being learning how to trade crypto and you know doing forex. I really really don't believe that it's easy for a reason because people always want to take the easy route they think you know trading forex they're going to get get rich really quick they feel that they're going to you know make a lot of money really really fast and don't get me wrong you definitely can make some money really really fast but this is not that type of way of trading you need to be able to when when you're trading you need to know how to be able to compound your money and compounding your money is not easy, especially when you haven't made a lot of money very fast like you do when you're doing Forex and crypto. When you're trading in, into, um, you know, in different things, you just can't just see the money grow exponentially right off the bat. And it's like, oh, I put in $100, $200 in and I over leveraged and I made $3,000 right off the bat. Pete, you hear those you hear those type of stories. And I've seen those stories happen. However, it is not likely for them to be able to keep that money going. You're overusing the money that you that you can leverage, which we can talk about that even deeper. But I'm not gonna get too deep on this video. But I just wanna really put it put it in perspective that you can make tons of money overnight. However, it's not going to develop a skill set for you. You can trade to your heart's content and not, you know, have ORM, operational risk management. If you do not have a risk management system in place, you will never be able to keep track of how much money you make. Operational risk management. You got to write down those. You got to write down your procedures. You got to write down every single thing that's going to either help you or bless you. This is not. This is ain't for the weak. This trading is not for the weak hearted. I'm telling you, if you have a t emotional ties to your money, yo, don't trade. Not today. Make a little extra money, even if it's saving five bucks a day. Yo, do what you got to do, man. Like nobody. 
Nobody cares that you made millions today if you can't keep your millions and keep your money flowing. I don't care how much money you make. If you cannot make your money consistently, you're a weak trader. And you're a liar. And I'm sorry, but I'm about to go this route too. I don't like people that show their demo account and they flex. I don't like it. I hate when people try to flex money and it's not even theirs. That's why you don't see me with the big big ball oh, like this and everything. Yo, there was something somebody told me. I do, but I can't remember who said it. And I probably overheard, they probably got it from someone else, somewhere else. Rich people are loud. Wealthy people are quiet. Rich people are loud. They noisy, you know, you, they're just flashy. However you want to live your life, you live your life to your fullest. As an investor, as a person that don't, I don't, I'm not, I really don't like, shoot, I only own one ring. And that's my veteran ring, my Navy veteran ring. I think I got maybe one necklace. Don't even own a watch. I need to buy a watch though, I do need to, I do need to buy a watch. Excuse me. I do need to get one. I'm gonna definitely get one probably next week or so. But other than that, I just want to be really authentic with my few when people. That's all. You know, I love being in Airbnbs. I love riding in Bentleys. I love, you know, buying a couple things here and there. I mean, you know, a few Louis over here. Food Gucci's over here. It's a blessing to have those things, but you, you know, don't let you think the things that you know have you versus you have them. That's I guess what I'm really getting at. Because I'm not gonna like, like I said, I'm not gonna knock somebody's lifestyle ever. If that's how they feed themselves, that's how they clothe their children. Who am I to stop them from doing what they do?